Well, hello and welcome to another video. My name is Ev Chapman and today I'm going to show you how to get started in Tana, especially if you've never used a block based app or a daily page app and you're just sitting there wondering, oh, how do I get things in? How do I find them again? So after being in the Tana community for just over a week, I have heard a lot of different things around. There's people who are very comfortable jumping in and just diving in and getting started. A lot of those people have already come from, you know, similar apps, things like Roam or Logseek. And so they're used to just dumping things in and then being able to find them later. Other people are coming over from maybe more of a structured uh, app, maybe something like Notion or Obsidian, and they're kind of sitting here wondering, oh, I don't want to get it wrong. Um, and so as I've kind of thought about this um, through throughout the, the week and a bit that uh, that I've been in the Tata community, I, I kind of have formulated in my head, and I think this is why I've been able to dive in and use it so well, is because I think of two things when I'm building any kind of system like this. So it can be really daunting to just look at the daily page and think, so if I put something in here, uh, it'll show up somehow. Um, and so our brains are actually really smart um, and we can't really, uh, we can't trick them. So if our brains think I'm not gonna be able to find this again, we will actually stop inputting things and stop capturing things. Uh, and how to get started in Tana is that you need to think about two different things. You need to think about how to capture something um, and how to capture it easily and then how to find that thing again and so that's what I want to show you in this video is those two components and then that will really help you to get a start and start to put some things in and then start to really feel that peace of mind that you're going to be able to find these things again so let's dive in and take a look all right so this is a daily page so let's say for instance um, you know you might be using Tana for a whole lot of different things I tend to use it for uh, task management. I use it for my Zettelkasten or, you know, my thinking kind of things. And I use it for content uh, for, you know, things I want to produce. I will probably use it for a heap more than that. But at the moment, those are the three things. So let's say, for instance, you know, really easy to kind of say this with kind of a task or a project is that if I had a task that I wanted to remember, um, like I need to buy the milk, for instance. Okay, so buy milk. Oh buy milk on the way home. Now I could literally just, you know, I could literally just keep writing all day, all different notes. Um, and this is what I do. But I think the, um, the real uh, magic of Tana is then being able to say what this particular thing is. And we do that with a super tag. So let's say that this particular thing is a task. So then we would then go task. And so now you've literally said, I have this task, I'm dumping it here on the page and it's a really easy way to then, you know, start to capture things. This next one might be a project that I want to work on. So I want to work on building my Tana workspace. And so I say, okay, this one is a project. I'm going to add that as project. Now, the next question that I get asked a lot is like, well, uh, how many tags should I use and should I use a tag and then like will I end up with all of these tags I think that's the wrong way to think about it okay so it's really easy to create tags it's really easy to uncreate tags and so I if you're if you're sitting here and thinking oh I don't know should that be a tag add it and then and then find a way then create a way to find it and that way your system kind of builds over time and you'll realize, you know what, there's some friction there, I don't really need it, or I've only used that tag one time. So don't be afraid to just dump things in, add a tag, and then we're gonna work out how to find that thing later, okay? Um, you know, I might have an idea for, for content, for instance. Um, so I might put um, video on Tana, whatever that is, and I might say this is a content idea. I don't have that tag already, so I'm gonna just press create. So that's the first step is really just starting to think about how do I capture things and what do I need to capture and what do I capture the most? I think the problem comes in then, and this is where some of the anxiety comes in is, well, how, how do I remember that tag? How do I, 
uh, find that again? Um, you know, how do I, you know, collect all of these things up? And so that's the second part of what we want to do. So every time you create a tag, what you want is a, a place where you can collect all those tags back up again. And that's where I use the live searches. Okay. So, um, you can literally click in any of your nodes and create a live search. But what I tend to do is I come up to the top level of my workspace. And then what I do is I come in and I create the live search here because that's gonna then bring it up in my sidebar. And I like to see those things. So let's say we wanna find all of the tasks in our workspace. So we're gonna go Command K and we go find nodes. And then we're gonna find the nodes with the tag task. And we're gonna just present it as a list. So what this is going to do is going to look through the whole workspace and find everything that is tagged with task. And so you see here, some are done, some have other tasks attached, um, some are from other demos that I've done for different videos. Um, and so this is just a big long list of tags. You can then, uh, uh, you can then rename this. So you can say, um, let's say all tasks. Now I'm starting to get all of these tasks that came from everywhere and I'm starting to see a list. The great thing about lists is you can see it here. So I can click on it any time and see all the tasks. And then if I go back to my calendar, I can add another task in and I know that it's going to show up in tasks when I'm ready for it. Okay. Um, and, uh, and so I love to kind of keep my, all of my searches, um, in my sidebar and, uh, that way my brain knows it has peace of mind that anything that I put in, it's going to come back um, somewhere so that I can see it. And so that is the way that I think everyone should get started using Tana. If you're feeling a little bit anxious about kind of this whole dump everything in and find it later, um, that this is exactly how you should do it. You should think about how you're going to capture that with a super tag, what super tag you're, you're gonna use, set that up, and then set up a way to find things later with live searches. And if you do that, then you'll be well on your way to getting started and building a really powerful workspace. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be making more videos like this around Tana and around managing your knowledge. And if you want to uh, ask any questions or jam on any of what I've talked about today, please reach out to me on Twitter and I would love to hear from you.